Hi, my name is Dex and today we'll be showing you how you can actually do a check return in SQL accounting. So currently there are actually two methods of doing this. The first option is to just to do a direct cancellation. So to do that, we just need to come to GL, cash flow entry. And then let's say example, we will take the payment voucher. So we just double click into it. We press edit and we press cancel. Okay. So this method we normally recommend for clients that actually have already issued a PV or payment voucher but haven't passed the check to your supplier. Alright, so once you're done, you just press save. Okay, so let's say example Maxis communication. So there's two invoice 29 and 53 and we cancel this payment. So let's say example, you want to key in the new payment. This invoice number 29 and 53 should be available to be knock off. Alright, you can see now. A grand new payment the 29 and 53 are available all right so the second method is where we actually use the bound status function this function is important if we actually have the payment actually went out from your bank account and then after that the money has come back in a later period okay to do this what we need to do is come back to cash flow entry here find the particular check that it has been bounced let's say we go all the way down say abc syndrome Bahad. We need to come here, edit, then in the blank space here, we will just right click here, bounce status, and then from here we can set bounce on, set 22nd of August. So when press OK, the system will then show you that this check has been bounced. Alright, so to see the impact, right, we can go to your bank account. So we go to your bank reconciliation, then press new. And we can select here, say uh, 31st August, Maybank, apply. So if we can see this ABC, the system will show that it's bounced. Alright, so that's the two methods that we can actually use for a check return. So do let us know if you have any further topics you'd like us to cover. Thank you.